Hi, welcome back. My name is John Sands and we're continuing with chapter three of the CCNA security course. Um, this section we're going to talk about the installation and use of the SDM to perform some of the basic tasks that we've covered in this chapter. All right, so we're going to talk about the SDM first. Uh, for you that haven't used the SDM, it's a uh, graphical uh, interface to our routers. So it's a Java-based uh, device management tool that enables us to configure many of the aspects to our routers so we can configure the LAN, WAN, and security features on a router. Um, the uh, SDM lets us uh, also view the configuration, so it's a good teaching tool in the classroom where we can have um, students use the SDM to set some basic configurations and then they can go back and review the actual command line um, commands that were sent to the uh, actual router from the SDM. Uh, it's a uh, browser-based tool, um, so you basically run it through your browser after it's installed on the router. Okay, um, so SDMs, we can use it to configure our interfaces, our WAN connectivity, we can um, set up the firewall and uh, ACS configurations. Um, it enables us to set uh, VPNs up much easier, and you can do several other types of uh, router tasks. Um, just a little bit about what you need to run SDM. Um, you need to, uh, in some cases, upgrade the memory in your uh, routers. It requires uh, six megabits of free memory uh, to run on the router side. Now, they do have a version called um, SDM Express, which only um, requires two meg of additional memory on your router. And then finally, uh, you know, your PC's got to be able to handle 5.5 meg, uh, not much on today's systems. All right, you can check if um, SDM's installed on your system. Uh, by going to the router um, and typing in show flash colon. And uh, you should see uh, the files listed here. All right, so um, the SDM, uh, shtml file, and so on. If you see this file, you pretty much under, uh, can uh, believe that SDM is installed. And if you want to delete it, you'd basically remove these files. Okay? All right, um, to configure your router using SDM, you need to go through some basic configuration options on your router itself. So as an example, you need to turn on um, the IP HTTP server. Um, and if you want to do that through a secure connection, you're going to want to also enable IP uh, HTTP secure server if you want an encrypted secure connection to your uh, routers when using SDM. Um, most of the time we're going to want to do local authentication, so we're going to create a, uh, a local uh, username and password on the router itself, and we'll use that when we authenticate with SDM. So we're going to want the command IP HTTP authentication local. Uh, we're probably going to want some timeout, so if we have idle time on the line. All right, and then we're going to have to create a uh, username and password um, that have a pri privilege level of 15. Okay, so in this case we're going to do a user uh, name SDM, privilege level 15, secret, uh, and then um, the password Cisco. All right, and then we're going to um, apply that to the Ethernet lines or the VTY lines that we're going to access the router from our, um, our SDM workstation. So in this case, we're going to go to um, line VTY 04, uh, privilege level 15, um, local um, login, or we can do login authentication, and in this case we would use maybe default, where we would define um, that particular user and the method we're going to use. And then, of course, you're going to want to allow um, transport of SSH, so transport input, uh, Telnet, or SSH. In this case, I have Telnet and SSH, so uh, we can use either. That's basically what's involved. Now, to install it, um, we needed to in, um, install each of them commands on our router itself. Okay. Um, and I'll just do a show run here to show you what we've done. So we've actually gone in and turned on um, the AAA model, we've set up a default using local. Okay, we're actually using SSH, so we have a certificate created. Um, we created the username SD, SDM with a password of Cisco that was encrypted, and we turned on the uh, HTTP um, server and the HTTP secure server. So basically, we, we've already pasted the configurations into this router. Okay. 
um, from there, to actually do the installation, um, there's a setup tool. So the setup tool basically looks like this. Uh, in this case, we have STM already on our workstation, so we don't need to install it on the workstation, but we can do computer, um, the router, or both. Uh, for your initial installation, you probably would want to do both. Okay, so you just click both. Next. Yes, you have to put in the, the um, router you want to install it on. So in this case, it's 10.44.100.52. The username. All right, and it's going to go ahead and connect it, and then it's going to ask us what options we, we want. Okay. Uh, but that's basically what's involved in, in installing it. SDM actually used the wrong password. All right. Uh, but that's basically what's installed. It's a, a wizard that will go ahead and install it on the uh, router itself. It will also give you the option of installing the express version if you um, have a router that doesn't have enough memory to install the full version. Okay. When it comes up, basically what we're going to do in this section is um, walk through um, the creation of users and then show you how to apply them, uh, them authentications to a particular line. All right, so it gives us the option of a custom install or typical. We'll just use typical. Uh, here's where you could turn on the SDM Express. Okay. Um, at this point, you just hit install. And it's going to connect to our router from our workstation and actually install the SDM at our router. Okay. All right, there's two ways now to launch SDM. One is we can actually go up and run um, the SDM launcher. They give you a little tool um, with SDM. Or we can just basically go to our browser and um, hit the address of the router that's running SDM. So again, in this case, it was 10.44.100.52. Okay, it'll come up, ask us for our credentials. Ask us if we want to use HTTP or HTTPS. Now, you may be prompted again for your uh, credentials during the login process. All right, in this case, it brought us up. And that's basically what's involved in installing the, um, uh, the SDM client.